the polarimetric configuration of your radar sensor will have an influence on the backscatter that you see in the image. Typically, a radar sensor will transmit a horizontal wave or it will transmit a vertical wave. Sometimes it will transmit a wave of both of those polarizations. And then it will detect waves of the same polarization that it transmitted. That would be co-polarized waves. Or it might detect the cross-polarized wave. So it might transmit a horizontal wave but receive the vertical echoes. Typically, what influences the polarization as the shape and orientation of the objects within the pixel. It's therefore quite important to know what the polarization parameters are of the image that you happen to be looking at or trying to interpret, because the polarization configuration has an influence on what the backscatter will look like in the image. Typically, cross-polarization measurements will be significantly lower than the copole measurements. It's quite unusual for a target to reflect back a polarization directly opposite to what was transmitted. One type of target which is unusual in that respect is volume scatterers and especially volumes like a vegetation canopy which has lots of elements that are oriented in different ways. So if you imagine all the twigs and branches contained within a forest canopy they're all oriented in different angles, different directions and so the cross pole backscatter from a forest canopy will be comparatively high compared to other types of surface scatter. In a technique known as polarimetric decomposition, we can characterize the targets that we're looking at on the Earth's surface by way of some standard polarimetric responses. One common approach, for example, is to separate it into a single or surface scattering versus double bound scattering, so a dihedral scattering, where it bounces off two surfaces, versus volume scattering, where they're scattering from lots of small components in a three-dimensional volume. And each of those three scattering types actually has very different polarimetric responses. So the polarimetric information is very different for those three types of scatterers. Polarimetric decomposition is a method that characterizes the surface as proportionally made up of those three surfaces. So for example, it may analyze the scene over a vegetated area and identify that some areas are made up of a combination of surface scattering and volume scattering. Other areas are just volume scattering and areas where there's no vegetation, it may be a bare agricultural field, is just surface scattering. And it may also identify some buildings or some urban areas that have lots of dihedral scattering, so double bounce. And the polar metric signatures are very different across those different land surfaces. And the technique of polar metric decomposition allows us to decompose or unravel and represent the surface as combinations of th those three key types of scatterers. Polar metric decomposition can also be done in other ways using different kinds of standard scatterers. It depends very much on the application at hand which methodology you would use. But typically it's a combination in some way of three idealized scattering systems.